Hey YouTube, it's Evan Magician 34 and I've got your Gates of the Underworld structure deck review. First card we're going to go ahead and get started with is the much talked about Graffa, Dragon Lord of Dark World. Um, basically, if he's in your graveyard, you can bounce a Dark World guy on your field back to your hand to special summon him. Then, uh, pretty much totally separate effect, if he gets discarded from your hand by a card effect, he'll pop one card on the, your opponent's side of the field. But if it was your opponent's card effect that pitched him, then he can look at one random card in your opponent's hand, and if it's a monster, you get to special summon it. Uh, he's pretty cool. He's 2700. He's a fiend. He's not a dragon. Um, uh, the only real downside is you can't bounce a Graffa on your field to special summon Graffa from the graveyard. But I mean, other than that, he's he's pretty cool. He'll make the dark world. He'll definitely be in the dark world deck. Um, next up is Snow on Light of Dark World. Um, she easily wins the prize for worst card yet in terms of, like, the, uh, problem-solving text. Uh, her effect is worded absolutely horribly on this card. It may even be worth buying the deck just to look at how poorly worded it is. But, uh, apparently, if she, <laughs> at least so they say, she gets pitched by a card effect, she'll, uh, basically search for any Dark World card in your deck. Not just monsters, and not just monsters of a certain level or anything. Any Dark World card you want, and add it to your hand, which is pretty awesome. And if your opponent actually pitches her, then you get to pick a card in your opponent's grave and special summon it in defense mode, which is pretty awesome. Uh, she won't be special summoning herself off either of these effects, surprisingly. But uh, uh, that's okay, because uh, her other effects are really good. She's a very good recruiter. Next up is Ceruli. And this guy, if he gets pitched by a card effect, he special summons himself on your opponent's side of the field. And anytime he's special summoned by the effect of a Dark World card, including himself, he makes the opponent discard a random card. Um, or actually discard a card, excuse me, not a random card, just any card. Um, so basically when he gets pitched to a card effect, he goes to your opponent's side, and their opponent discards a card, so that's you. So he helps you discard your Dark World stuff. But if you special summon him with a Dark World card, card onto your side of the field just regularly then he'll make your opponent discard a card which is of their choice granted but i mean um played correctly i mean he could be a lot of fun anyway those are the main reasons to buy the deck but there is some other stuff there's i mean zur range these guys aren't really um that exciting scar khaki's okay gren's okay all these guys of course only do their effects when they're pitched by card effect but this deck has lots of ways to do that Brow, he's actually quite nice to have. Beige, Brawn. Silva's a good card to get. He sends cards from your opponent's hand to the bottom of their deck, which is pretty cool. <coughs> it's uh, sort of like superior to a discard, basically. Uh, gold, he just destroys stuff straight up, but he's still a nice effect. Kind of like a, a weird Celestia wannabe. <coughs> you have to forgive me, I'm kind of sick right now. Uh, Rainbow. He only works when your opponent discards, but he's either a Geki or a Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, this guy is really good to have a reprint of, just uh, for future side decking purposes. He's really quite good. Uh, Belial, eh, who cares, but I mean, you know, it was only ever a secret before. Tragoidia, an awesome reprint, definitely worth having. Sangan, no new news. New Doria, Goblin King, Grave Squirmer is interesting. Card Guard, he got another reprint when previously it was only secret. Battle Fader, it's first common reprint, which is kind of nice. Okay, then there's Gates of the Dark World. This is their field spell. All fiend-type monsters on the field anywhere gain 300 attack and defense. And then you can banish a fiend in your grave to discard a fiend and then draw a card. Um, obviously, pretty much just for your Dark World deck. Um, banishing from the grave hurts a little bit, but it's, it's going to compensate you because it activates your Dark World effect and draws you a card, so you can just kind of keep going. Um, so that's rather nice. Dark World Lightning is good. Uh, you actually get two copies of Gateway to Dark World. That will quick play you set, and then you flip it during your opponent's turn to get free monsters. Um, Dark World Dealings. Allure is nice. Card Destruction. Terraforming. Dark Eruption as a reprint is nice. Um, we got this new card, Dark Scheme. Your opponent can discard a card to negate its effect, but otherwise both players discard two cards and then draw two cards. More ways to set off your uh, Dark World stuff, basically. Forces of Darkness, get two Dark Worlds from your grave, of course. Deck Dev, that's a nice reprint. We've been waiting for that one. Uh, Radicator Epidemic. Mind Crush, really good card right now uh, on this particular meta. Check the date on the video, guys. Um, so, it's, it's rather nice just to have if you didn't already have it. 
Um, Dark Deal, which is kind of a nice card actually. Transmigration gets a reprint, that's also good. Escape from the Dark Dimension, and finally uh, another common reprint of Dark Bribe, which is quite lovable. So is this deck worth getting? Well, obviously if you're going to build Dark Worlds, you pretty much the new uh, sort of it deck, which probably I think is more hype than you know real genuine power because it's so easy to side deck against and it can get some really bad hands. Um, obviously you have to have uh, these guys and more specifically these two. Uh, so obviously if you're going to build Dark Worlds, you have to get three of those. Uh, if you're anybody else, you might want to pick it up one or two copies for stuff like Tragowadia or Dark Bribe. If you don't have your play sets, get them. Um, otherwise, you can just buy them online really cheap as singles. Um, but if you don't want to build Dark Worlds, I don't know if this deck's really worth getting is the bottom line. So uh, take a look at it. If you don't know what uh, all the cards in this deck do, you can always check it on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki and whatnot or some other source. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more cool videos.